Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial, I'm gonna talk about the water level sensor. So we'll use this sensor to display the water level on this LCD display. For example, we're gonna display low, medium or high. And it's very simple to use. It has three pins. The GND goes to the GND, the VCC goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then we have the signal pin which needs to be connected to an analog pin like A0 and it returns a value between 0 and 1023 which represents the water level so before we get started consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I release a new video and let's jump right into it So in this lesson, you will need the water level sensor, the LCD display, an Arduino board, and few jumper wires, and you will need a breadboard, because we need to power the module, and the LCD display with 5 volts, and we have one 5 volt pin, that's why we're gonna create a 5 volts rail, by connecting the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to one of the points, and let's start by doing that. So this is the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Let's connect it to one of these points. And because they are connected, you could use these as 5 volts. Then let's connect the module. As you can see, it's very simple. It has three pins. The middle leg is labeled plus, which is the BCC. I'm gonna connect it to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then we have the minus, which goes to the GND. And finally the signal pin, I'm gonna hook it up to the analog pin A0, so that we can use the analog read command to read a value between 0 and 1023, which is the water level. First I'm gonna use the serial monitor to display the values, then we're gonna use this LCD display. So let's take one of these wires, and I'm gonna start by connecting the GND to the GND of the Arduino. So we have more than one GND pin, like this one. Then the middle leg is the VCC. Goes to the 5 volt pin. And as you can see we have this LED that is turned on. Because we have powered up this module. And finally the signal pin, which is labeled S. Goes to the analog pin A0. Of course you could use A1, A2 and so on. And to test this module, we're gonna need this cup of water. But before that, let's open up the Arduino IDE. And in this video we are not going to use a library to read the voltage, because we have a command that is called analog read. First we need to add few variables, like the analog pin using int. I'm gonna call it read pin equals a0 and to store the value I'm gonna use another variable let's call it read value you could call it water level then under the setup function let's use the pin mode command which takes the analog pin read pin and the input keyword so that we can read the voltage then under the loop function let's use analog read this takes the read pin and it returns the value between 0 and 1023. I'm gonna put it inside the variable read value using read value equals the analog read. Then to use the serial monitor, let's use serial.begin with a baud rate 9600. And each time, let's use serial.println to print the read value. Also, I will add a little bit of delay, like one second. And let's check if it's working by uploading the code. Then let's open up the serial monitor using tools, serial monitor. We have the value zero. And let's put the sensor inside the water. 
and as you can see it is changing accordingly to the water level now we're gonna use the LCD display which has four legs so we will need four jumper wires male to female the G and D is the brown wire let's connect it to the G and D of the Arduino like this pin the red wire is the VCC which goes to the 5 volt pin then we have the SDA and the SEL the SDA which is the yellow wire goes to the analog pin A4 then the SEL which is the orange wire needs to be connected to the analog pin A5 you could also use these pins so this is the SDA and this is the SEL now let's go back to the Arduino IDE and add the logic to display the water level first we need to add the library liquid crystal I2C using include the liquid crystal underscore I2C then dot H and it's not a built-in library you need to install it using the library manager from tools manage libraries then search for the same name liquid crystal underscore i2c let's scroll down for me it's already installed i'm using this library by marco schwartz once you do that you will be able to create the lcd object the type is liquid crystal i2c then we can give it a name like lcd and pass in a few parameters the first one is the address of the i2c module for me it's 0x3f but it could be 0x27 then we need to specify the size of the LCD display so the LCD display that I have has two rows and 16 columns the second parameter is the number of columns which is 16 then two rows you could also use the other displays with different sizes after that let's go to the setup function and use lcd.init to initialize it and turn on the backlight using lcd dot backlight now let's move to the loop function and add an if statement so we're gonna check if the read value is between 0 and 450 or you could use less than 450 because the analog read command returns a value between 0 and 1023 in such case we're gonna display low first we need to change the cursor position using lcd dot set cursor and let's move it to the second line the column is zero and the second line has the index one and let's write lcd dot print low and let's add another else if statement to check if the value is greater than 450 and less than 700 using read value less than 700 of course you could change these values later on depending on the sensor and the kind of water that you are using I'm gonna use 720 in such case we're gonna write medium using LCD dot print medium and I think I'm gonna move this line before the if statement we only need to change the cursor once then we're gonna display low medium or high using else if it's above this number we're gonna use lcd dot print and high and finally we need to make sure that the lcd display is cleared using lcd dot clear then we're gonna write the message low medium or high and i want to use the first line using lcd dot set cursor zero zero and let's write the message water level then colon and that's pretty much it so let's upload the code first we have the water level is low and let's put the sensor inside the water now it's medium then we have high so it's working I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon, 
I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one.